Let's look at some other common examples. Pricing type A is also a very commonly used pricing type. And just by the description of it, you can probably understand what it does. Copy pricing components and only redetermine scales. That's the only thing that happens. Now, when would you want to do it? Examples of situations where you want to use pricing type A to do repricing. Very simple. For example, when you change quantities, right? When you change a quantity, what happens? The scale actually gets redetermined, right? It gets redetermined according to the fixed scale that we have created in the condition record. If the scale changes and you want to redetermine scales, basically either because of a change in quantity or otherwise, right? Because change in quantity automatically triggers a change in scale, meaning it goes and looks at the scale. But it only goes and looks at a scale at the transactional level, not at the actual condition record level. If you want SAP to go look at the condition record again, see if any scales have been changed, you can use condition type A. Well, this is a very restricted example that I'm trying to give you, but there are many other broad areas where A can be used, especially when transferring from one document to another, which we'll talk about in a bit. Another example is G. I think we have to talk about that example that I was talking. Now, when it comes to G, pricing, copy pricing elements unchanged and redetermine taxes, the classic example is order to invoice or delivery to invoice. A simple example for that is the order was created, let's say, on um, Jan 1st, right? Jan 1st. The delivery was created on Jan or Feb, let's say Jan 31st. And the invoice was created on March. Well, that might not be a good case actually. Let me do something like this. The delivery was created on March 31st. And the invoice was created on April 1st. Right? Let's say the tax rate on Jan 1st is 10%. The tax rate on let's say March 31st is 10.5% and on April 1st I'm taking an extreme case could be let's say 10.8% okay tax might not change that often but you never know right the system should be prepared for it so the standard SAP configuration for OR LF F2 order delivery billing is when you create an invoice Always copy everything unchanged, manual things or whatever, whatever you have done in your order. But redetermine taxes because, because this change in tax is not under your control, right? You, you're not responsible for it. So you can let everything else remain the same. But tax is something that has to be determined at the time of invoice. Now, there might be some exceptions to this. There might be some scenarios where you don't want to redetermine tax. For, for some strange reasons, because in situations like India, where there is an MRP, which is not always the case in B2B transaction, even in India. But if you have promised the customer the end price, meaning the MRP, maximum price, in that case, you might want to eat the increase in the tax, right? But that's not typically how B2B scenarios run. Anytime there is a change in the tax, the user is subjected to that additional, either an increase or a decrease in tax. Right? So, in cases like that, when pricing is being copied over in copy controls, G will be configured. Right? We're going to look at it pretty soon. Another example is H. H is redetermined freight conditions. Right? When do you want to redetermine flight conditions? At this point, you might. <clears throat> at this point, you should get a hang of these pricing conditions. At this point, you should get a pretty good hang of these pricing types. Basically, these are different ways of 
redoing pricing you know whether you want to redo price whether you want to only redo certain elements whether you do not want to redo anything whether you do not want to redo anything except for scales so based on the condition types condition categories uh, whether it's manually entered or not whether scales are there or not based on these combinations a pricing type controls whether based on these parameters if pricing should be redetermined or not right so these are some examples that we are trying to see some concrete examples a is redetermined scales b is do pricing all over from scratch c is do everything from scratch but you know make sure that any manual changes are respected g is redetermine only taxes everything else remains the same h is redetermine only freight conditions you know you don't help but wonder how does sap know that only freight conditions needs to be redetermined not anything else right there should be some way of identifying all the freight conditions so the question here is how does sap identify all freight conditions the same logic applies for g how does sap identify all the tax condition types the point i'm trying to make is how does sap group all these condition types and say okay i'm going to redetermine these and not something else that's based on condition category and condition class now before we go there i want to give you a brief i want to give you a brief overview about where pricing type is there in copy controls now quotation to or when you create an order with reference to a quotation a pricing type of a is used what does a do a copies all the pricing condition types only redetermined scales that's the standard setup you can understand the logic behind why sap does that and if you don't want to do it in your specific scenario you are free to change it to whatever pricing type that's available here in copy controls right so that's the first thing when you create one document with respect to other like you know order with respect to quotation invoice with respect to order or delivery if you want to make sure that you know pricing has to be done in a certain way then you can configure a pricing type in copy controls okay the second thing is how does sap identify you know these classes or groups of condition types and then read us pricing only for a select class or group of condition types that is based on how the pricing type is set up now is there a place where you can configure pricing type like go to spro and configure your pricing type no you can't create your own pricing types in spro that's not possible so where do you do the configuration for that let me show that to you in the next chapter